Researchers at Utah State University believe that they have come up with a clean burning jet fuel made from juniper trees. Yeah, they say the biofuel works and they're looking for the next step here to get it into the marketplace. The specialist Mike Anderson explains how this whole thing works. Hey, Mike. Hey, Mike, you know, uh, this is uh, designed, while it's designed, you know, as a jet fuel, researchers say it can be fractioned down to work as a both boating and a car fuel. It's designed here at the USU's Innovations Campus. And uh, Dr. Foster Aglavois says uh, started he started working on this idea 10 years ago, and knowing that Utah has a plentiful supply of the invasive juniper tree, they grind down the wood into a sawdust-like material and further process it down to a sort of a crude oil-type product before turning it into fuel. Aglavois says the biofuel burns clean since it doesn't contain any sulfur, meaning it doesn't leave behind any pollutants in the air. He also says the fuel can be produced from other wood-type products, too, even leftover materials from sawmills, making it possible to produce it virtually anywhere. Look at it in a positive way. Now we can use it to create, solve the problem. So Utah becomes part of the solution. Biomass we use. And creating the biofuel does leave behind a black sand-like byproduct that Aglavois says can be used to help fertilize soil. The next step uh, researchers need help with, though, is finding an investor willing to help mass produce the fuel and get it into the market. And labs uh, like the one here at the Innovation Campus uh, are aimed at developing new products that can be uh, used to help better our lives, our everyday lives here. Mike Anderson, Live at 5. Back to you. All right, Mike, thank you. Tomorrow